This is my small balcony garden. I grow a variety of plants here through the Toronto summer and they grow pretty well. I have things like flowers, lettuce, cucumbers, peppers, chives, and tomatoes. This year they're already flowering because I started them inside a little earlier and I have lots of flowers. But usually, even though I have lots of flowers, I generally only get one or two tomatoes. So this year, I'm using the technique of the electric toothbrush on the flowers to pollinate them. This sort of simulates a bee's wings buzzing against the flowers. It helps to release the pollen and get it to fall onto the stigma. That's all you really need to do to pollinate the flower and get tomatoes to grow. There are several videos on YouTube that show this technique, but in this one I thought I would show you the results of it. Instead of getting just one, two, or maybe three tomatoes, this year I've got many of them, and it's only early July. In fact, so far I've counted 30 tomatoes and a lot more flowers that will produce even more. So yes, this technique absolutely does work. This is significantly more tomatoes than I've ever had before, and I will definitely be doing this every year. But while we're here, let's talk about cucumbers because they're completely different. This is an average female cucumber flower. This is the male cucumber flower. You can tell it's male because there's already a small cucumber growing there, but it won't continue to grow unless you pollinate that flower. What you need to do is take a small artist's paintbrush and get some pollen from the female flower and rub it onto the stigma of the male flower. Some people take the actual flower itself off of the plant and rub it directly into the male flower. Does it work? Well, I don't know yet, but I'll probably find out in the next two or three weeks.